America. Hi, it's Ken with Accent American, and this is Harry, Harry Banches. And How you doing? This is the janitor's closet. He custom designed this truck for me. We talked about this about two years. We've been going about through. Two years back and forth. How to utilize the high space and all this. This is a diesel truck, but this is a gas system. And Harry's got all kind of inventions and techniques. And Harry, why don't you just start out? I start out with the electric reels and uh, explain how it works. Well, how you doing? I'm Harry with janitor's closet. Um, one of the uh, key uh, components of this truck is the uh, water pond split uh, reel design. Pretty much what uh, what I did was I took a uh, standard water pond, 120 gallon water pond with a uh, hose reel and pretty much put a second hose reel on top of it. Um, second hose reel is also electric so um, both hose reels are electric. I made a little uh, controller here where you can either go top hose reel, bottom hose reel, and um, there's a uh, switch controller mm -hmm. to walk away from it. There's also a option that hasn't been installed yet. It is a uh, remote control option where you can be 30 feet to 40 feet away from the truck and actually engage it with a key switch. And whichever hose reel, uh, reel you're set at, it's gonna work the hose reel. Also, you have your automatic pump out control through here with a, uh, a flow back system, a flush system. What that means is um, your pump outs are uh, one of the uh, main components in a truck that's overlooked on the truck mount. Um, a lot of people don't want to go into the tanks, clean them out. Uh, it's, uh, they have to be taken apart to clean the uh, check valves and all the uh, hoses. What we do is once we're done using the, uh, we're done dumping and we're done for the day, we have a flow back system where we hook up a line to it, a garden hose, and it flushes the system backwards and actually cleans the bottom of the tank and all you do is open the gate valve and all that stuff in those lines gets cleared out with fresh water. Um, I feel this would prolong the life of the pump out by doing this. Um, mm -hmm. One of the biggest things I see is guys bring me their pump outs and either the impellers are all shredded or the check valves are full of uh, debris, uh, water's left in them, it, uh, all the debris, sludge and everything just ruins these uh, pump outs. And out. tell them how much your pump out pumps. Uh, per minute. My pump out can pump out anywhere from 61 gallons to 17 gallons a minute based on the hose that you're using. So the use system a, will be about how much? Uh, the system's about $1,500 and pretty much it's very easy to use, very easy to clean and it's very cost effective. Um, replacing parts for it can be very, very cheap to do. So, Pat, so I can hit this switch turn on my pump yep. and back flush with my fresh water tank and back flush by back into the waste tank and clean out the filter yes dump the crud i just manually drain that drain open the gate valve and yep. uh, drain the sludge water out of it now you said my pump out pumps about 48 gallons a minute somewhere yes. around here with a one inch to a three quarter inch line you should be between 41 to 48 gallons a minute now check this this is what's neat here I had him install me an electric solution reel. Well, it's got about 250 feet now, but that can hold what? 700 seven? feet of a uh, quarter right. inch uh, high pressure line. Because this truck is designed for a thousand foot run. So we'll run, the, we'll, we'll run. right now we got about uh, 450 feet of hose, but I can bring more hose and I can run two and a half, hook that up, I can run a split. It's got an automatic fill. I can automatically fill it, I can manually fill it, I can run at two at 500 or one at a thousand, and that's why we built it this way, so I can add the extra hose here, and I can do, we got another heel in the back. So Harry, we put 250 here, so I, in the field I can take this off and manually connect it to the other one, and just uh, and the, along uh, the reel. Front. Now, explain it in one. What we're with the, we're, for dual one, we actually have two boxes. And well, how that works? The uh, two boxes can be uh, you utilized individually, as one one uh, one technician can use one, and the second would use the other. Or you could actually join both uh, both boxes with a two and a half inch line into a Y, yeah. and it'll actually uh, give you further distance as you go out. Probably do about a thousand foot run <laughs> if you're doing it that way. Now the micron size of your filters are really tight because a lot of these guys have a metal box. I see 
yep. the, the manufacturers, but the sand and dirt blows right through it. Yep. These uh, yeah. these uh, micron filter bags can range anywhere from a uh, 50 micron to an 800 micron. Um, you don't want to use an 800 micron, you're going to have some restriction there, but uh, a 300 to a 400 micron would be perfect. Uh, very easy to clean out. Uh, you can actually use them as disposables, throw them out when you're done with them, uh, but they can be cleaned out. One thing about this pump out, it's a constant flow, it's not pulsating. Okay, we, when we tested this and we hook up, it's constantly squirting water about 10 feet away, constant flow. And like he said, he, he restricted it for this size hose, but if he had run a bigger bigger hose in there, because I got to hook a water hose up to it to go to a toilet or something, it dropped me to 48 gallons. But I, but for 48 gallons, the other pump outs, I would end up filling up the tank before they ever got finished. With a uh, inch and a quarter, you should reach maximum, should be maximum, um, discharge of the uh, tank which would be about uh, say 4,000 gallons an hour yeah. um, that is a lot of water to move out we got wood in there we got insulation we got all these brackets to hold tools and different accessories now show them what you did to make me a separate gas tank on the side here um, Okay, the fuel system on this, being that it is a diesel van, I have a lot of guys that they go to custom shops and they have these custom tanks made for their uh, for their van's fuel tanks. Um, their their biggest problem is they put the fuel tank nozzle right below the diesel nozzle. After a long days worth of work, uh, <laughs> you make that crucial mistake of putting the uh, the gas pump in the wrong hole, and that is will cost you in the long run. Yes. What I did was I put the fuel gasoline fill on the back and the diesel on the front. So keep them opposite of one another. It is a 20 gallon, 20 gallon uh, tank mounted uh, where the uh, spare tire would be. Uh, you sacrifice the spare tire, but you don't have to be carrying gas inside. I mean, 20 gallons will run you pretty much a couple days. Yeah. Um, install the fuel gauge on the machine also so he knows how much gas is in the uh in the tank at all times let's explain what we did to the heat exchangers real quick this is the fuel gauge that we added to the uh to the machine right now we're at a quarter of a tank it's pretty much accurate uh to about two two to three gallons so mm -hmm. um at least you know how much gas you have you don't have to guess whether you're going to a job and you have to add gas or not add gas so this is a very good feature to have especially out in the field um tell them what we did why we we did to the heat exchangers and the problems you've seen with all the sensors and all the truck mounts that's kind of, they give you trouble i I come across a lot of a lot of issues with sensors and heat exchangers, diverters, all control electronically. Um, in this industry, we have to keep it simple, um, keep it cheap, because uh, some of those control boards are about a thousand dollars. What I did was I eliminated all the uh, pretty much the whole heating control system on this, and I took the diverters which had actuators on it and I put uh, cables on there. Kind of like throttle cables, you pull them out and you lock them. What this does is open and closes both diverters. What I kept was the temperature sensors and the uh, shutdown sensors. So if the uh, unit hits critical temperature, it will shut the unit down. Those I kept, but keeping it simple, cables, Mm -hmm. get rid of the computers that's one of the downfalls of the industry is going to be the computers so for example i push this one all if i push this one all the way in and i pull this one all the way out okay that's my max heat that's your max heat and i can run around 270 280 i can keep a rotating spinner going for a long time if i'm cleaning furniture okay i would basically push this all the way in push this in about 190 190 right there 190 constant and then i can like i said i can play around with this to find out where i want to be if i want to be 220 230 single one double ones something along that so that would be my max heat and i don't have to worry about a solenoid shutting down my whole system nope. everything's controlled mechanically this way yeah. um the only 
electrical part still left to it is going to be the critical shutdown. So once you reach that temperature that you don't want to reach, it's going to shut it down. And that we kept for safety reasons. Another thing is um, with this heat exchanger, we tested it out with a, uh, a tile spinner. I can maintain at 1,000 PSI, I can maintain 240 degrees, and that's just with the uh, heat exchangers of the machine. Um, All right, Harry, tell us about janitor's closets, Orlando. Uh, uh, they're going to have a major event in Orlando May 12th. What's going on there? Uh, we're opening up our brand new store in Orlando. Uh, really looking forward to it. Uh, big, big uh, floors, a lot of, lot of displays, a lot of chemicals to buy. Um, we're going to be having a raffle where we're going to be raffling off a, one of our diamond, brand new diamond GTXR truck mounts. The unit is brand new out the box and that unit includes the water tank, the hose reel, 100 feet of hose, 100 What's feet of... What's the approximate value? Um, the approximate value of the whole package right now is about $27,000. Wow. Now, Harry, this is something you designed, right? This truck mount? And uh, you have Hydromaster built it for you? Uh, we actually took a Hydromaster uh, Boxer 318. Yeah. And we've uh, bit changed the uh, machine. It was the waste tank, the automatic pump out. You got your the, pump out. The pump out on it. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Boxer 423 was actually um, a joint venture, as I would say. We put some suggestions out there. We told them all the problems we were having and you know, Hydromaster pulled through and made the changes. And I mean, I haven't had any issues with any of my truck mounts. Now listen, guys, if you need a reason to come to Florida, you're what, 15 minutes from Disney? Yeah, it will be 15 minutes now from listen, Disney. listen, this is a write-off. The raffle tickets are five bucks a piece. They're going to a great charity, okay? Uh, the charity is called Echo. We help homeless people. Uh, destitute people find them jobs food clothing the whole nine yards they're gonna donate all the proceeds so look come down here a couple of days early take the family to Orlando Universal what have you write it off write the ticket off write the shirts a write off what else do you need to come to Florida Harry where can they find more information they can find information on our website by janitorialdirect.com or they can just call us here at the store. Our number is 813-626-3030 and anybody in the counter can help you. One more thing, this this is my customized for me. I do a lot of restoration and big jobs. So guys, this is probably for you owner operators, okay? If you have a fleet of vehicles, this might be too complicated for all your technicians. But if you had a lead tech, a really good tech, the point is, look what they what they can do. And the thing I like is all the space we have with this new trucks, you know, most of the time we take up the floor space and we ignore the open space. Taking advantage of this, this is awesome. And this diesel, me, I pull equipment, I pull trailers, and it gets 15 and a half miles to the gallon with all that weight. So all your space, all your lost space, like uh, Ken said, is up top. It's no wasted space. So yep. when you buy a van, you tend to pack the bottom. Just go up, find ways to hang things. There's, you go to a custom shop, a welder, and believe me, they can fabricate anything for you. So, or just uh, come to the janitor's closet. <laughs> take the trip down here. <laughs> right. Make it